Cool, so I'm almost done here. The last thing that I might want to do is I might want to add, um, I might want to push those elements to the right. In my design, I decided, okay, I really don't want so much clutter here. It seems pretty imbalanced on my navigation element. So I want to move all of these components to the right. Um, and so the best way for me to do that is before I start tinkering with my own CSS and now applying my own styles or using whatever I think should be the right way, I should actually go on their Bootstrap website and see if a solution has already been made. So I'm first going to look in CSS, right? Seems like the right way to do it, presentation. Doesn't seem there seems to be much, um, anything, any coverage for navigation explicitly. Uh, but let's see, maybe there's something, maybe something there might be in helper classes. Okay. So if I go here, oh cool, there's ways of moving your stuff left and to the right, and maybe if I apply this class it might work. That's one way to do it, but maybe I should also check with the uh, components part, right at the top here. And so here we actually see the navbar element. Now let's look at the sub-navigation. Oh, interesting little instruction here on component alignment. And if I go see the instructions, it says that I can align my stuff with dot navbar left or dot navbar right and it, they seem to be um, they seem to be based off of the pull left and pull right that we just saw but they're more appropriate with media queries to handle how that navbar changes with uh, the different form factors that we may encounter and we'll see more about that in just a second but we want to apply this navbar right let's try applying it to this element which seems to be containing uh, the navbar header, or to, to seems to be containing the contents of our of our of those elements of those navigation elements. If I right click, or sorry, if I refresh my page, perfect. These bad boys are now on the right side, and um, everything seems to be working perfectly. The last thing that I want to explain is these collapse elements. What do these collapse elements mean? Well, I mentioned before how Bootstrap really does a lot of the legwork in getting your stuff up and running. So one of the things that it does is it makes your website mobile device friendly. Google Chrome is a really good way of testing this on your desktop. So if I resize this guy, and you can see that the content adapts. See these navigation elements got pushed, scrunched together as my screen size decreased. If I keep going at some point, it's going to get too big so that the navigation elements actually become this little hamburger icon. And if I click on it, you can see that all of my navigations are here. In fact, the drop down works perfectly. And this is how Bootstrap does a lot of that work for you out of the box. If you were to do this manually, you would have had to design these lines, perfectly place them, make sure they scaled across different devices, etc. Bootstrap does a lot of that legwork for you. And it's why it's such a compelling piece of software. And so that ends it for our navigation. Um, there might be one extra lecture on logos, uh, but that's going to be a small part uh, for this. For now, I think we've got our navigation covered, and the next part is to move on to the slider.